Hey, everybody. Um, it's your survivor buddy, Gordon Holmes, with the nerdiest thing, blah, 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 the survivor power rankings. And I am just giddy to welcome back someone who just <laughs> murdered my lead. <laughs> The challenge rock star from Survivor 44, Franny Marin. Ooh. Hello, Franny. Ooh, this is the most fun week of the power rankings. Why are you so down, Gordon? Come on. <laughs> I tweeted a joke. I'm like, I should be able to use my uh, re-rank without uh, advantage. And then I was like, we really should have advantages <laughs> in this. Let's, we should have implemented that. Let's take a yeah. page from Jeff Probst's playbook and make this as confusing as humanly possible. Yes. Well, and what was so wonderful about it is like watching the episode, I was like, oh no, I had this very incorrect read on Sean because I really felt like he was in a wonderful position. And so then when he sounds like, first of all, shocked. I love that. I feel like parts of his kind of like goodbye sentiment felt like very carbon copied from Hannah. And so funny to me, like Sean was taking notes as Hannah was exiting the game. Um, but so I was so wrong, but so right. So I'm not mad about how this turned out for me. You were right enough, Franny. You were right enough. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I, I'm watching that and I'm like, what's he doing? What are you doing? Stop yeah. doing that. Even though if Sifu apparently, uh, like according to the Jeff Probst on Fire podcast, yeah. um, getting fire with it, uh, if Sifu would have gone, is it like all the interviews mm -hmm. in the lead up? It seemed like Sifu was the person, which would have been bad news for me as well. But oh, true, yeah. Oh, just the. It, it, I think even Jay, if Jay my Jay my, there's a point where I was like, is she really close with D and Julie? Mm -hmm. um, are they like mm -hmm. if they want to keep challenge strength? Would it just make sense to boot her? So I was worried for her too, but I don't think that would have worked in my favor either. So mm -hmm. just an awful train wreck, <laughs> soul sucking, bad, yes. <laughs> I got this like a one point lead. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for for oh, so mad. Where are we at right now? Just to, I mean, not to not to like you know knife and twist it, but but what what kind of a lead am I looking at while so, we're so, while we're here? Okay, so uh, you had Sean in spot fourteen. Uh, mm -hmm. I had him in nine, so five points to you, huzzah! Uh, so huzzah. Uh, team Marin forty, team Holmes forty one, and it only takes one point. It only takes one Ooh. point. And I I realize sometimes we talk like people have been watching all 40 minute episodes for the past month now. But uh, we have a bet going where if I win, I get to be the maid of honor at Franny's future wedding. Uh, yeah. So uh, there's not a thing I won't do to make this happen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're laying it all on so, the line. <laughs> I, I have no shame. I have no shame. I'm so mad at, oh, so mad at Sean. Just like, just when I sense, just when I sense that conversation, the deja vu of like, yeah, I said a lot of this stuff. And then yeah. he was, he was like, write down my name. One of my favorite shots of the show this week was where Sean starts talking and it becomes clear that maybe he's like saying something a little more than just talking about his experience. And it cuts to Jeff and Jeff is just going, he looked like he looked like one of the gargoyles in season 44. That bit, he was just like, had this stance about him that was so funny. Um, we don't, yeah, we don't I really curse that. here, but you could just, if the internal monologue was, are you effing? Yeah, yeah, you could see it in his eyes. He did not need to say it out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I don't know if you followed any of the exit press, which you should. Um, Sean made it sound like he regrets it. That yeah. was that was my take. I was like, look, Hannah couldn't cut it. She didn't like it. Like, I understand mm -hmm. that. I don't understand. I want to get back to my husband, even though, as you well know, when you get voted out, they don't just ship you right back to the States. So yeah. I, I was like, why not just stick, stick around and see what happens? And I, I think he regrets it, um, which is a weird place to be. Uh, I don't know if I've ever heard of a, someone who's quit the game wishing they could have, you know, gone back and not done that. So a yeah. very interesting position for him to be in. Good guy. Um, but yeah, he just got, he got caught up. I know that's tough. And I feel for him. And honestly, like tribal is so overwhelming. Uh, even though he's been to tribal several times at this point, like he's with entirely new people. So I think it probably feels like the first time and some feels like the first time, you know, um, I don't, sorry. Do you need to like copy? Yeah. <laughs> uh, YouTube's like that. ding. Yeah. yeah. Sure enough. Dang it. Um, but, and I, I, I can totally empathize with that kind of like um, you get so in it and the anxiety that you feel, especially when you're with new people, you just have no litmus for if they're lying to you or not. So um, it does seem like he just kind of got totally twirled up in what was happening. Um, so I feel for him because I know that's tough to be like waiting so long for this to come out, knowing what's about to happen and kind of preparing yourself for the backlash on a decision that maybe you don't even feel 100 percent good about. So I don't know. I hope he's doing OK. <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, you can sing feels like the first time if I could sing Secret Lawyers. Um, that's what oh, we yeah. are. 
Uh, and guaranteed, Jeff Probst never asked that question again. Never again. Was Jeff- no. And he's no. going to be like, I don't know anything. My name's yeah. Paul. This is between y'all. <laughs> yeah. out. I don't know. Um, yeah. Oh, oh God. What did never you think- again. I know. What did you think of our new Bellow tribe? The new Bellow tribe. Okay, wait, let me look at my notes because with all the colors and changes. Oh, that's the one with the most mix up. Okay, that one's very interesting. And um, first of all, I thought it was so uh, exciting, honestly, that all three Lulus went to three different tribes. Um, Painful to realize that no matter what happened in the immunity challenge, one of them was going to have to go back to tribal again. That had me hurting. Um, But yeah, I don't know. I think that that tribe's really exciting. And that feels like the one that has kind of... I don't know, the the toughest dynamics. Um, I'm psyched for Emily. I feel like she's doing really well now. And oh man, when they won that immunity and you see her like break down because she's just so happy to not go to tribal. That was like, so, that was such a potent moment for me. I feel like I could feel it right there with her. Was, yeah, I can't imagine good. what it would be like to be on the bottom and then like kind of find your people like that are, yes. yeah. So that, that had to be really exciting for Emily. Uh, yeah. New Lulu, uh, Caleb. Uh, I thought, like I said, I had him really low last week, but like everybody wants to work with Caleb. So uh, yeah, yeah it, it, new, it. new Lulu is a funky one because, um, and we'll get into this with the rankings too. Like I, I was staring at this tribe of people for so long trying to figure out how to rank them because I feel like I just cannot figure out how the cookie will crumble if they go to tribal council. Like, like, uh, you know, with, you know, Kelly now being in this middle position, but she's only got one of the September Alliance and Katura and Kendra's not there. And, you know, Bruce seems to be still doing his funny guy thing. Like, I don't know how soon that's going to catch up to him. Um, it's a, it's an interesting tribe. And then Jake again, with the next week on a potential, another passing out, like th- oh. there's so much to worry about over there. <laughs> I'm very concerned for a lot of them. Okay. All right, well, let's take a look. Uh, you have 40 points, I have 41. You had Sean in 14, I had him in nine. Uh, let's see how everybody else did. Uh, if you want to play along, uh, just leave your picks in the comment section below. Uh, quite a few people nailed it. Uh, had Sean in spot 15, talking about Alan W., uh, Lonnie Moore, uh, Anna Fusco, Joy, Joy Survives, and Prodigious Girth. And Alan W., what a way to rally back after that first bad week. Oh, well done. yes. Well done. Nice job, see? Alan. Uh, uh, tied with Franny in spot 14, we have Survivor Drip, Logan Smith, Mr. Platt, Joel M. Gallagher, Aiden Young, Jag519, Eric Chavez, uh, JP15 is me, and Potato Dog. I love you, Potato Dog. Uh, also, also special shout out, uh, last week's disaster, uh, Kavya Mishra, an amazing comeback, spot 14, well done. See? Oh. Well done. Yeah. Never, never sleep on yourself in this game. Come on. Yeah, okay. Uh, in, uh, in spot 13, we have Cats Rule the World, Kristen Dicker. Uh, Strat Sai, Mal Sparks, Sam Miracalio, and Brandon Davies. In 14, Carpe Diem, Social Awkward Potato. I like my potato names, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Damn Daniel, Eric Swan, Chris Homelin, and Alex Milne. Uh, and apparently, uh, I swayed Alex. He had uh, Sean uh, higher on his list. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. So I apologize for that. Um, I don't get them all right. Um, in 11, Kate the Great, Kevin A. Uh, in 10, If You Go, No One Can Follow, and Jonathan Goshima. Uh, tied with me in spot nine is the artist formerly known as person without a name is as a name uh, Derek H uh, and the reason oh. for Franny's many overboard quotes Dr. Death uh, in spot nine I hope they're prepared uh, <laughs> yeah. it, it was pointed out to me that there's also a prominent professional wrestler uh, named Dr. Death Steve Williams um, fun oh. fact uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin his real name is also Steve Williams uh, but he changed it because he didn't want to be confused with Dr. Death I know a lot of wrestling fun facts I know the reason <laughs> you all came here was overboard quotes and wrestling facts. Well, we have we yeah. have them in spades today. You got uh, to the right place. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in spot eight, we have Norp Fang. In seven, we have Lucas Cantillus. And uh, here we are. Uh, here this we are. week's cyber hug, if you're willing to accept it. Uh, of course, uh, spot five, Andrew Gulia. Um, there you go. There you go. If if you yeah. want it, you don't have to take it. You don't have to take it. Uh, but, but you know, Andrew had, had wonderful spidey sense. I think actually, you know, I think if not for if not for Sean making this kind of out of nowhere decision, you would have been in a good yeah. spot. That's that's the thing is Sean. Like you weren't wrong. Sean just yeah. you know switched it up. So, but know this, Andrew, uh, Kavya and Alan are both perfect examples of people who have gotten up, brushed themselves off, and gotten back into the game. They didn't quit. They didn't skitter off to Ponderosa and wait for the plane back to their husbands. Is that too subtle? Was that, or is that? <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, who, who are you referring to? Yeah. I don't know. 
I don't know. Yeah. Can you stay in the game is what we're trying to say. Yeah, yeah, stay yeah, in yeah. the game. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, should we do Overwatch quotes now? I'm not sure where the uh, the uh, proper time for Overwatch quotes is. Yeah, yeah. The people that want us to get to the rankings quickly are going to be very upset. I know. They're scan gonna ahead. Unha- Just scan unhappy ahead. about this. Unhappy. Honestly, okay. So I, maybe I maybe I won't like regale us with ten full quotes, but truly, and I think I said this last week. My my favorite quote is truly um, when she's sitting in the back of the truck and they're going like home from the hospital, and she's like kind of sitting back there and she looks like so out of it, and then she opens her mouth and a bug flies in and she goes, "Oh, I just ate a bug." top favorite quote like my mom and i say that all the time so I'll, I'll give the people what they want with that okay well you get points a not just for the line but the line reading um Thank you. and since we're not gonna Thank do the full you. 10 i'll do mine uh Ooh. and that's when mr staten is is drunk after joanna's returned and he sings into i think it's a giant shell and he goes tofuti yeah. tofuti where are you when i need you <laughs> tofuti climb that is my favorite. <laughs> yes, that's so good. Extra points to you for delivery as thank well. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so and to you. And scene. Okay, the rules of the Survivor Power Rankings are as follows. Each week, our two combatants will create separate power rankings. The ranking of the person who is voted out of the next episode will determine the number of points the players will earn. For example, if Julie is voted out this episode and I have her in ninth place and Franny has her in second place, I will receive nine points and Franny will receive two points. At the end of the season, the person with the most points will be named the Survivor 45 Power Rankings Challenge Champion. And if that person is Gordon Holmes, he gets to be the maid of honor at Franny's future wedding. Now, rankings are not based on who the player thinks is most likely to win. No, no. The <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> No, no. Screw it. I'm keeping that in. Uh, The smart strategy (laughs) is to rank players based on how safe you think they are in the upcoming vote. All right. Ready to do this? I'm ready. (laughs) All right. Take it away with number one. Okay. Spot number one. Um, I'm letting her climb. I'm letting her cook. I have Emily in spot number one. I know. I know. I'm like on the Emily train now. I know. But roll with me. I think she's in a wonderful position on her tribe because, and this is exactly what I was hoping would happen last week. Everybody on her new tribe is coming in, expecting her to be difficult, expecting her to, you know, be, you know, not fun to be around. And she turns out to be sweet, wonderful Emily. And I think people are quite liking her, but because she came in with this kind of perception that she was going to be tough and now she's wonderful, I don't think she's going to rise to the point of people considering her as a threat. Seems like she's in the middle. Seems like she's hopefully getting in good with Austin and Drew. And I think she's going to be safe next week. Fortune favors the bold. Um, literally emily was last in my first week of power ranking so this is i'm I'm just i'm very proud of her i don't know how to break this to you franny i don't know how to break this to you franny but uh i'm bold too in spot number one i have our first lock emily (laughs) boom played all the stuff you played all the i felt like i was like defending myself oh my god you get it you get it (laughs) from worst to first how do you like them apples uh wow emily ended up with the dream scenario uh, on a tribe with people who value her, who will probably do well in challenges, and who have mm-hmm. two other easy targets uh, in mm-hmm. Brando and Kendra. So I don't know how this happened. Uh, I'm not. I'm not mad at it. But I got Emily in spot number one. First spot with a lock. This is this is wow. very exciting. So there's a woo. <laughs> got <laughs> jitters this week. <laughs> All right, spot two, uh, Austin. I don't think Bella's going to tribal, and if they do, I don't think anyone in the new alliance is going home. Uh, There's no reason for Emily to stab them in the back and they have too many advantages at this point. So uh, Emily and Austin uh, in that new Bellow Alliance, one and two. One and two. Spot two, I have Julie. Um, I think that she's in a good position on her tribe, despite the fact that they just went to tribal and lost somebody. Um, But I think Julie's in this great spot where she has, you know, D coming to her, wanting to work with her. Seems like J Maya is wanting to work with Julie as well. It seems like Sifu feels that he's in tight with um, those, you know, original Reba women. And uh, even if he's a little suspicious now that his name came up at tribal, I think it's going to come back to him that it was D who put his name down. And that leaves Julie in a very safe position so i think should that tribe return to tribal it seems to me like julie will be calling the shots in spot three i have austin uh right after you i think he's in a wonderful position like he said his alliance with drew they've got ammo they've got a lot of advantages they've got an idol um and they've got emily the biggest piece of ammunition they could possibly need so um they're strong i think they're going to be winning next week but if not i think austin is in a good spot okay yeah and my three i have drew 
uh bello mm -hmm. rounding up the top three ah basile uh you've got all the advantages <laughs> you've got a solid three people uh and the rest of your core four uh is in control over reba uh, the only thing that has me nervous is that the bello idol is still out there uh that is unless they're doing one of those mm -hmm. things where someone found it on day two and they're gonna you know reveal it at some point dramatic but I don't think that's the case. Like, I think that would be weird storytelling at this point to be like, oh, you know, seven days ago yeah. this happened. So I, I think idol wise, they, they should be in the clear unless obviously Brando or Kendra find it, then they could have some problems. I would love a like flashback montage of every member of original Bellow seeing the wear advantage, looking at it and saying, not me, <laughs> walking away. Um, that would be so funny to me. Uh, in spot four, I have Kelly. I find new Lulu very fascinating. Instead of everybody being worried about Survivor Tour de Force, Caleb, they all want to work with him. It, it seems like Katura won that battle. Uh, but no matter which way he goes, I can't see a reason to target Kelly right off the bat. I think if, if we do have a Caleb Katura uh, duo, that obviously Bruce is the obvious first boot in that scenario. So I think Kelly's spot in safe four. Yeah. Spot four, I have uh, Drew right after you. Maybe I'll I'll take Basile. You take Drew, I'll take Basile. Um, go. I've got Basile up there in spot four. Uh, like I said, I think that his alliance with Austin puts him in a great spot. They have Emily as well, um, and he's got all those advantages on his side. Um, little lower than Austin, just because I think he, you know, he could have a higher profile, um, just because folks know he did that journey. It might come out that Caleb gave him an advantage, but for now, I think he's in a wonderful spot. Um, spot five, I have Caleb, actually. Um, like you said, new Lulu is a little interesting. And um, it seemed like Caleb was putting himself out there a little too much with the camp raid last week. But I find it interesting that none of those Reba members who were a little sussed out with him from the raid made it onto his new Lulu tribe. It is all, um, you know, like fresh meat from his perspective. So I don't know that these people uh, have quite caught on to Caleb's charms yet. And I think that puts him in a great position to be a kind of a swing vote in terms of where the old Bellow members want to put their votes. I think Caleb in spot five is bold. Uh, but like oh. I said... I'm bold myself. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've got Caleb in spot five as well. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. How come every time we do a lock, it's you go and then I go? Not once have you gotten to be like, I got news, Gordon. Like, I know. Someday. This it's, is, you're you're stealing my thunder. Come I know. On. Mathematically, it's got to happen at some point. That's uh, not fun. <laughs> but yeah, spot five, I've got Caleb. Mr. Teflon ends up on a tribe uh, full of former blue buffs and still manages to come out smelling like a rose. Even more amazing. Uh, the person who owes him a game debt, Emily? Uh, isn't good with what could be a solid force someone they hit, hit the merge so uh everything's coming up caleb this week he was great in the challenge made all these buddies uh apparently he's out looking for uh, an idol in case sabias got put mm -hmm. back into the game he's the only person that knows she went out with an idol so well done caleb yeah, that's interesting too. I didn't think about that. Um, the fact that, you know, Emily is in good with with Austin Drew and then uh, ostensibly Caleb made this connection with Drew from the raid. So if like all of them make it to merge, I could totally see that like, like mega alliance. Um, yeah, okay. like a big cool. Rabu Rabulu uh, team <laughs> once they hit the boom, right off the top of my head, I spat it up. Yeah, he's Luliba. sharp. He's he's popping. <laughs> Luliba? No, I like how we started. Um, Rose, six, Rabu Rabulu? Lu Luluba? Luluba? La Libya? Lulu. Lulu. And it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. We had it. Relulu. That's the one. Relulu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had it. We got it. Uh, we're yeah. professionals. Uh, in spot six, uh, Brando. Um, I, again, we didn't see very much from Brando or Kendra, so I, I don't know. But like, it feels like, uh, you know, Basile and Austin were able to lock down Emily so quick. Uh, so that's bad news for Brando and Kendra. But I think they'll be fine. Uh, Emily, Kendra, and Drew can hold their own in challenges. Uh, you know, Austin, you know, is very fit, very strong. And Brando's a challenge whiz. So I think it's 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 conceivable and probable that they will make it to the merge completely unscathed. So that's why I've got Brando in six. Okay. In spot six, I have D. Um, I had a hard time placing her because I do think that, first of all, from a TV perspective, loved her decision to continue to vote for Sifu. <laughs> like she hears Sean's <laughs> entire thing and she's like, 
that sucks. <laughs> you know, it like doesn't write down his name. Um, but so, so I do feel that Sifu is going to come back to camp. He's going to want to know who voted for him. And I do think it'll come out that it was D. But from what we've seen of D, she seems very savvy, very strong socially. I feel like she'll be able to come back from that. And then even if Sifu is in a place where he doesn't trust her, um, I don't really see J. Maya and Julie like turning against D in this scenario. So I think that she is doing pretty well in spot six. Yeah, like what can he do other than... The, the only thing I can think of how Sifu could flip things, and I don't know if he's savvy enough to do this, is, you know, it, they made it a point to show that D wanted Julie to vote for Sifu, and then she did not. So what was yeah. that all about? That's why That's why I have them a little lower, um, mm -hmm. but I can't see that happening. Like, you know, they, it, 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 it would fool, be foolish for D and Julie to turn on each other, and I think J. Mai is just, like, psyched to be a part of the group, so I think you're right. Right, well, and also what's interesting, too, like, looking at these tribes, um, now that, not that Sean was, like, a bad talents performer but now that sean's gone like d is quite strong sifu is very strong and i think jay and julie hold their own so i'm like not i don't know i'm like feel like that tribe might actually do well um yeah uh in spot seven i have kelly um similar to you i feel like she is in a fairly good position um the one thing that had me a little bit worried for her and why i have her like lower than previous weeks is because i noticed when jake was talking to caleb when they first get to their you know new beach together um Jake is like, you know, makes a point to say that he's working with Bruce, uh, wouldn't want to vote against Bruce. But Jake seems to kind of like throw Katura and Kelly's names, both of them out there to Caleb as potential people to go home. Um, that worried me because I had hoped that that Kelly was a little more solidly in with those guys. And, and the fact that Jake threw her name out got me a little worried, but ultimately she's higher than a lot of other people on that tribe. So I think she's probably going to get away to, way out of it, you know, should they go to tribal council. Okay. Um, in seven, I had Katura. I, I thought Katura was in some real trouble uh, when I saw Bruce mm. courting Caleb. And also the fact that right in front of Bruce, she's like, whoa, 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 what did Brandon say? Like, that was like, really? Yeah, Get like down. savvy, savvy on her part to ask that, yes. but also time but not, and maybe place. Not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but yeah, but she managed to figure out what Caleb needed. Like everybody was courting him, yeah. but he just wanted the truth. Like he wanted someone to like, you know, let him into the, the, the circle. Um, so if she does manage to get rid of Bruce, uh, I'm very excited to learn new things about her because I feel like her character has mm. just been like, Bruce is the worst. Uh, so, True. Um, yeah. So, uh, you know, it seems like all we're seeing is her hating on him. Um, mm. Good on her for getting Caleb on her side. And I think, like I said, I think if that tribe, if Lulu goes to tribal council, that she will probably be among the more safe uh, people. Yeah. There. I will uh, say, I, I'm excited to see more from her. Um, but also, her confessionals about Bruce, so funny. <laughs> like, just hilarious. Um, and the one where she doesn't even say anything, she just goes, <laughs> so good. It's wonderful. <laughs> I, I mentioned this, the the Flint. I like Bruce. I oh. love Bruce. I would have killed Bruce. I would have killed that Bruce. That would have, yeah. If I, I was, I know, there, I know there are very strict rules in Survivor about killing your tribe mates. <laughs> yeah. Like, they, they don't mess around with that. But like, yeah. I, I was at home like frustrated because I'm yes. like, I'm like, A, he lost it and this is going to be a thing or B, he's messing with them and Couture is mm -hmm. going to freaking kill him. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Um, that was a rough run for this. Yeah. <laughs> um, in eight, I had D. Uh, again, D and Julie mm. shouldn't be this low on the list, but again, what happened with that miscommunication? Because they made it a point to yeah. show us that and they didn't have to. They easily could have not shown her saying Sifu. They didn't have to show Julie's confession when she got to the voting booth. Uh, I, again, so uh, it's it's not an editing trick. Like Julie did say, it. I was told to vote for Sifu, and then she definitely did not. So yeah. I don't know what's up with that. It could be nothing. I hope it's nothing. Um, but I have them this low just in case it leads to some kind of issue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wise. Um, in spot eight, I have Jake. Um, I'm kind of, a, I don't know. Jake was a really hard one for me to place um, because he does kind of have a connection with Caleb on his tribe from that um, the sweat and savvy that they did at the very beginning, which they alluded to. Um, he seems to be in good with Bruce. So that that seems like they're, you know, two potential people on his side. Um, a little concern for him medically um, based on the based on the preview. Um, but I don't know, I could see a world in which things turn on him, but it sort of seems like he has a couple people on his side. And of the people on that new Lulu tribe, I don't think that people will be looking at him should they go to tribal council. Um, I think that a lot of things would have to go wrong for him to go home. And maybe that thing that goes wrong is him fainting. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be, a, that is wrong. That is, that would be one of those things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, in spot nine, I have Brando. Um, yeah, a little bit lower than you. So um, I had Brando and Kendra a little bit lower here just because, you know, I'm really taking it face value, that scene that we saw with uh, Drew and Austin forming a relationship with Emily. Um, I thought it was so funny that Drew makes a point to say that he's a straight shooter and Emily just latches onto that immediately and is like, I am too. So it seems to me like that group um, is going to be really solid together. Um, I have Brando higher than Kendra because personality wise, I could see him slotting in better with the rest of those tribe members than Kendra. Um, but I don't know, he seems, you know, useful in challenges from a puzzle perspective, uh, that tribe is pretty strong. So uh, I'm not too worried for him this week. There was a secret scene that sh showed Emily going to each member of that tribe and being like, do you think the pyramids are batteries? <laughs> Sanity check. How do you guys, know? like, where <laughs> yeah. do you stand? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, in spot nine, I have Julie. Again, like I said with D, what happened with that vote, they should be fine. Like, that's such a weird... I, I, again, they did show it, so there must be something to it. Um, but uh, they should be able to get rid of Sifu next. Uh, and then if they don't merge J. Maya, I think they, they would have no problem getting rid of in case of emergency. But that vote has me just a little bit wary. That's why I have them a bit lower than you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in 10, I have Kendra... Uh, I don't think Kendra did anything to deserve being this low, uh, but I think she's the most likely new Bellow to go if they lose immunity. Again, I don't think they're going to lose immunity, but um, the, they should be fine. The stars should align uh, to keep her around. I know she would love that because she loves when stars align. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like it seemed like of everybody last week, I feel like her and Brando were the two we saw the least from. So, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I know. I don't think we saw, I don't even know if we got a confessional from either of them. Um which is interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, in spot 10, I have J Maya. Um, so it's interesting because I feel like this was kind of a breakout episode for Jay. I feel like we saw more of her perspective than we have in the past, which was good. Um, it seems like she sees herself as in with D and Julie, um, which we hadn't really seen before. So that has me feeling good. Um, I was a little concerned that, you know, it seems like she hasn't been part of that four group that was previously established on Reba. But now that, you know, uh, Reba is greatly condensed into just four people, I think that Julie and Dee will stick with her. Um, the one thing that has me concerned for her and why she's, you know, uh, quite a bit lower than Dee and Julie is Julie seems like very... Um, very stubborn about wanting challenge strength. Um, I'm hopeful that that sentiment will kind of dissipate as they are getting closer to a potential merge. Um, but if that is Julie's perspective, I could see her wanting to finagle a way to get Jay out and keep Sifu, um, even if he is a little squirrely after the last vote. So that's why she's a little lower, but I hope that she's uh, in a good position for next week. In spot 11, I have Bruce, my man. Um, so Bruce is Bruce was a hard one for me. And I was, I was really struggling with like Bruce and Katura here because I do think that both of them are in tough positions a little bit on um, their new tribe. Um, with Bruce though, I, I if that tribe goes to tribal council, is Katura gunning for him? Yes. Um, it does seem like she has some sway over Caleb, but that's only two. And Kelly seemed to me like she was sort of positioning herself more firmly on the side of Bruce and Jake than on Katura's side. So um, I could see a world where Caleb and Katura are able to pull in Kelly, the three, yeah, yeah, and 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 get out Bruce in that scenario, but. I don't know. It just sort of seems like he has a few more numbers clustered around him. Um, well, as we know, wonderful. as we know, Kelly is definitely Bruce's number one. Uh, yeah, he, that said was, it, I know he said it a million times. So yeah, 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 true. Over the past Obvious four number episodes. one. Yeah, yeah, constant. This is the one uh, constant in this game. But, yeah. Um, I know water is wet, and I know that Kelly is Bruce's number one. Um, <laughs> I, I truly, I think Bruce and Eleven is a bold move, but. Uh, I'm a bold guy. You're I'm... joking. That's why you're it's not, joking. It's not lock of the week anymore because there's so many. Great minds think alike. So do we. Um <laughs> Wow. And again, you get to announce it. This is this is starting to feel like unfair a little the bit. <laughs> I'm lying. I just like I'm moving around like oh, Yeah, you're moving everything. Yeah. <laughs> I've got that one point lead I need to protect, so I need as many potential times right. as possible. <laughs> oh, you'll be like, Gordon, send me your picks in advance next time. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I would like to screen them beforehand, please. Thank you. So, like Thank you, you did literally say you would like cheat or steal to make this happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. At eleven I have Bruce when again mm -hmm. when he was playing games with the Flint. Um, I was Katura yeah. in that moment and I wanted Bruce 
gone. If I had a parchment in my home, I'd be writing Bruce on it uh, immediately. Uh, and again, yeah. that uh, and telling Kelly she's his number one when that's news to her. Who mm-hmm. else are you saying this to? You shouldn't be throwing about strategic terms like that willy nilly. Uh, mm-hmm. So, you know, people talk to each other, Bruce. Uh, all it takes is Kelly to tell Jake and Jake and et cetera. So um, I'm concerned about our friend Bruce. Um, I got him at spot 11. Uh, at spot 12, I have Jay Maya. Mm-hmm. I really thought Jay Maya was going home Wednesday. Uh, with Julie, really? yeah, with, oh, with, wow. with Julie focused on challenge strength and mm-hmm. Jemiah pushing for Sean so hard. Um, and, and the fact that we never had heard about women's alliance in advance when yeah. Basile was talking about, uh, you know, his previous tribe, he s- said core four, didn't say core five. So I was really mm-hmm. worried, um, that, that, that Jemiah's number was going to be up. Um, but uh, they didn't. They they went with her plan. They targeted Sifu, which must mean they have some kind of feelings towards her. Um, mm-hmm. So maybe there's more to that trio than I previously thought. Um, Jemaya is not the lowest Rebanite uh, on my uh, rankings uh, for good reason. Um, yeah. But uh, I I do think that, like you said, if if Julie gets hung up on on uh, challenge strength, Jemaya could be in some trouble. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, in spot 12, uh, I have Kendra. Um, I think that that tribe is probably the strongest in terms of like challenge strength. So I'm hopeful that they will not go to tribal. But as I alert- alluded to earlier, um, seems like uh, Kendra and Brando are kind of in a tougher situation on that tribe. And of those two, Brando seems personality wise, more aligned with the rest of the group than Kendra. Um, I could see her getting caught in the crossfire there, which is a bummer because I love Kendra. And I think that she's also quite strong in challenges. So um, they could be hurting if they get rid of her, but I'm a little concerned about her for this week. Um, in spot 13, I have Katura. Um, again, I really struggled with this new Lulu tribe because I think the dynamics are like a little funky, but um, Caleb did seem to connect with Katura a lot. Um, I, I loved that line that he gave where he said, you know, we were at the water well, but I was no longer thirsty. Like I was quenched. That was so good. Um, but uh, Caleb's also a savvy player and he can read the room. I could hundred percent see him going to, you know, Bruce or going to Jake and trying to sow a little chaos and, and making it clear that Katura is, is targeting them. I could see that coming back to bite her, especially if Kelly seems to be a little more on that side than on Katura's side, uh, which is why I have her so low here in spot 13. I got to tell you, ever since you broke out the math that, you know, it seems like Jake, Bruce and Kelly could be a unit. Like I was like, Oh, whoever gets Caleb wins. But they still don't have the number, so you've got me yeah. second guessing all this. Mm-hmm. Um, because because yeah. I don't think that we um you know I don't know that we've seen Kelly and Katura talk alone yet, and certainly not this episode, which is why I feel like I just don't quite see them as a full unit in my mm-hmm. mind. I'm going to use my re rank advantage. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> in thirteen, I hate this. I have Jake. Uh, oh, if you no. pa- if you pass out once, it's an isolated incident. If you pass yeah. out more than once, it's a cause for concern. So uh, yeah. I hope I'm wrong. And Jake just tripped. Uh, but he is going to be at the bottom of my, my rankings just for this reason alone. Just in case. Yeah. First of all, I don't want anybody to leave the game for health reasons, period. Um, yeah. But, you know, I obviously don't want it to mess up my uh, chances of being your uh, maid of honor. Yeah. Uh, so, so we have to, you know, weigh yeah. these things. What's yeah. more important? <laughs> um, in 14, I have Sifu. Uh, when, when I type Sifu into a pages doc, it autocorrects to Psy, um, which is <laughs> ironic considering that's how I feel about Sifu right now. Like Rebu, mm-hmm. Rebu was absolutely ready to send him packing and, and he is their best bet to compete in challenges. And I get that they're willing to bet that they're one challenge away from the merge, but you don't know that. I, I, and I don't get him at all. I don't get like, he's like Reba strong, but like, who are you working with? Why is Jay Maya so convinced you won't work with her after the merge? Like, yeah. I, I, and, and now that he's got this vote on his name, I picture him going all Rupert from Pearl Islands on Johnny Fairplay and just like freaking out over it. So <laughs> yeah. I, I think I think if they lose the next challenge, I think it's a very good possibility. I think Sifu, uh, his time is finally up. Oh, wow. Gordon, my time has come because we've got another lock. <laughs> what? You got to be like, you know, that's a bold choice, Gordon. That's a bold choice, I, you know, but I'm bold as well. Um, Yeah, spot 14, I have Sifu. Yeah, <laughs> how many is this, four locks? That's four locks. That's interesting. It's very, it's interesting because I that's feel like four so potential is... ties and that's four chances for me to keep the lead. Yeah, I'm yeah. not mad at it. Keep I'm that needly one point lead. Um, yeah, Sifu, a lot of the same things you said. I was also, one thing that struck me this week with him is um, 
I found that strategic conversation between Sean and Sifu so awkward. Like Sifu comes in from the water. He's standing up. Sean is sitting down. Sean's trying to do the whole, like, you've got me, you know, I'm on your side. I feel like Sifu doesn't even engage with it. And I get that Sifu wants to stay Reba strong, but as a player, I feel like you have to be open to any option, even if you're just lying to Sean and saying like, yeah, I could use you, give him, give him a name, give him something. And the fact that Sifu wasn't even like willing or able to do that just has me a little concerned for him strategically. And yeah, especially if he goes on a little bit of a rampage after seeing his name at Tribal, I could see the Reba members just being like, eh, we're going to let you go. (laughs) See ya, Sifu. See ya, Sifu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, our picks are in. They are locked in, cannot be changed. Uh, for better or for worse, no advantage is going to save us this week. Uh, we had four, count them, four locks. Uh, we Insane. Had, of the week, uh, we had uh, Emily in spot one, Caleb in spot five, Bruce in spot 11, and Sifu in spot 14. And because we're experts and we always get everything right, I think it's bad news for Sifu. I think it's time. I think it's time the game is finally up. And I yeah. guarantee Jeff is not going to ask him, what is your time on Survivor taught you? Guaranteed, Jeff's going to be like, you're fine. No. Yeah. Jeff's like, see, we'll see you tomorrow. Go vote. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I, know it feel, I know that there's three women who hate your guts, but you're fine. Don't worry about <laughs> yeah. it. Trust me, man. I'm reading the vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, also, our biggest disparity or whatever term we want to use of the week is Julie. Uh, mm-hmm. Franny had her in spot two. I had her in spot nine. That's a seven point differential. So I love you, Julie, but maybe see if we'll find an idol or something will happen. Um, cause I would not hate tacking seven points onto my one point lead. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, our picks are locked in. Put your picks in the comment section below. We love to hear from you. Um, again, I think we can all agree on the honor system as far as keeping score. Also, if you get a chance, like the video, subscribe to the channel, gently nudge the subscribe button, uh, check out my graphic novel. The bad guy has now been released. I've gotten so many wonderful comments about it. My heart It is live. Oh, <laughs> uh, the link is in the description. Check it out. Only five bucks. Um, Franny, do you have anything you want to let us know? Um, honestly, I just wanted to say, Gordon, thank you so much for letting me do this with you because this is such a fun season and I feel so grateful that I have somewhere to just like, blah, like talk about it every week. So this is like, this is the time of my life. So thank well, you for that. You're doing great. And like, you, like, I just love the insight that you bring to it. Like that, that's, I always get it. Like every, like, I, I feel like it's sometimes you think about it as 3D chess. And then when somebody comes in with that 4D, you're like, oh, like it's, it's like, yeah. I love it. So you're, and you're doing a fantastic job. Um, thank you. I encourage everybody to come back this Thursday. Uh, for an exit interview with Sifu, who is going to be unanimously <laughs> voted out of the game. Uh, Franny, again, thank you so much. Um, despite course. what happened last week, uh, you're still my fave. You're a rock star. We love you. Uh, <laughs> Good. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll, I'll get that lead and you won't be saying that anymore. Check back I, in in a couple of weeks. The second you get that lead, I'm giving Owen a call. I'm gonna be <laughs> like, I need you back here. She's done. <laughs> help, help me, Owen One. You're my only hope, buddy. Yeah. Uh, oh and one oh and one uh, so good <laughs> all right well we hope everybody comes back uh next monday for even more of the survivor 45 power rankings <laughs> <laughs> oh.